talked about it throughout the week. There are chances for microbursts from embedded thunderstorms. In fact, some viewers are asking if we already experienced one. Chief Meteorologist Ellen Baca has the answer in today's Ask Ellen. The answer is yes and no. For all intents and purposes, this is basically a microburst, what we've been seeing. This is a good view of an example. This is a storm that soared through West Michigan just yesterday. And the reason why this isn't a classic microburst is because it's not producing severe winds, just sub-severe winds that can cause a bit of havoc. And in addition to that, some of the inner mechanics are slightly different. So let's talk about the setup that we have this week. We're seeing pop-up downpours that are surrounded by hot air and this is the key we when we have hot environments are setting the stage for any rain cooled air to become really dense and want to move down to the ground quickly so this is an example of what we're seeing one standalone thunderstorm cloud surrounded by hot air eventually so much of the rain cooled and hail cooled air collects right in the center of the storm that we see a massive buoyancy issue the cold air is much colder than the hot air outside of the storm and therefore it starts to sink rapidly. When it does so, it slams into the ground and spreads outward, sometimes at wind speeds of a good 40 to almost 60 miles per hour. So again, usually sub-severe, but at times kind of rolling up close to severe criteria. This is an example from Plainfield Township yesterday when a patio umbrella got pulled away, causing the table to shatter. Keep in mind, they didn't even see rain at that location. They were just nearby the storm and affected by the air moving outward from the center. Here's another example. This is from last night when thunderstorm wind damage caused some damage to some roofs of some barn buildings. We'll be watching for these storms all week.